Ladies and gentlemen, Kirk Douglas. So let's bring him on here with a nice hand, won't you? <laughs> Kirk, Kirk, apart from the champion and Spartacus, what was the, the first great stage thrill you ever had? Well, Ed, really the greatest uh, stage thrill for me was really my first job. First of all, they were paying me for something that I would have been glad to do for nothing. <laughs> and suddenly I found myself being paid to perform at the theater, which by the way is exactly uh, directly opposite the street from the court theater where we're doing uh, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Right, and that theater was the old playhouse theater. Right? That's right. William A. Brady. Exactly, and mm -hmm. his uh, wife, Grace George, and C. Aubrey Smith were in it. And I played the part, I was so excited, I played the part of a singing messenger boy. And I had to come in at the end of the second act and sing this telegram. And that, to me, was the most exciting thing. Sing it to the audience. Hmm? Oh, I'd be glad to. Uh, Congratulations, Nellie, dear, this program's just a starter. May health and fame and happiness be yours through General Carter. Magnificent! <laughs> Magnificent! <laughs> How come I never get any requests to sing? <laughs> Mr. Lee sings in his own show over here, and it's great. Now, Kirk, tell the youngsters of the country what you... Now, there are a lot of youngsters out here. See, why are there a lot of youngsters out here? Tell them and the youngsters of the country what you told me in your dressing room the other night. Well, seriously, what Ed and I spoke about is something that I think is tremendously important to every youngster, and it's tremendously important to our country. And that is there's a, a, a real serious problem of dropouts. That is, there are a lot of kids who are thinking, well, I shouldn't finish high school, I can get a job. Now, as a result of this, they don't realize that they are impairing their own later security. Now, I know this myself because I was lucky enough to have had somebody that forced me to go through college. And as Ed knows, we're talking about my, I hitchhiked to college. I had $163 in my pocket, and my last ride was on top of a truckload of fertilizer. I think there's a significance there somewhere. <laughs> but the important thing is that I think all parents who are having problems now with their children who want to drop out and not finish high school ought to urge them to reconsider that. If it's possible at all, of course, it would be wonderful to go on and continue and go through college as well. But at least think very, very seriously before you prevent yourself from getting a high school education because in later life, it's going to prevent you from getting a better job and earning a better living for you and your family. So think very seriously before you decide to drop out. Thank you. And then, thank you very much.